uh, the overstaying on visas and the tracking uh, is something that's never received a lot of attention in this country simply because even though we're technologically we're really advanced, the fact is that I mean, we'd be lost trying to track all those people now. It's kind of kind of trying to close the door on something that's that's a tremendous, and I wouldn't call it a problem, uh, a problem because you know these people are fairly educated. These people can make a contribution uh, to the United States. The only reason that they're here and they've overstayed their visas because they see an opportunity here. To be honest, I don't think we have the money to go after them. We really don't have the money for, for our own citizens, let alone going down and finding, tracking down others. You know, first things first is let's t fix the, the major artery that's bleeding. But in the future, I think that's coming. You know, that absolutely they shouldn't be just, you know, okay, they're here, let's just let them stay. Sure, you know, when we encounter them, let's, let's take care of the issue. But. My, I'm, I'm not speaking for our legislators, but my guess is we don't have the funds to go out and start looking for them. It's the fear that drives people uh, to say, you know, if these people are, are legalized and given legal status, they will cost us jobs. And in, in reality, they won't cost us jobs. We'll expand the economy. It will be more work, and those will create even more work for everybody else.